Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about a, it, I wouldn't call it an emerging problem, I think it's actually started to quiet down even though it's still happening, uh, <laughs> but a, a problem that a month ago was starting to get a lot of heat in the SCP community and it was something that I, I, I kind of touched on but never really did a video about, and that is art theft in the SCP community. and. We're not talking about the SCP Wiki, which has done a fairly good job in recent years of uh, essentially removing art theft from their website. <laughs> but, uh, and this is a little bit self-serving, I think, because the, 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 the topic we're going to talk about is how SCP animated channels are, uh, in some cases, not all cases, but in some cases, stealing art and forgetting or just straight up failing to credit people. And I say that's self-serving because uh, those are the channels that are doing really well in the SCP uh, YouTuber sphere there right now. But uh, what we're gonna talk about is the problem with cr the Creative Commons license and failing to credit people. Now, if you ask, I think a lot of people who are Doing this, stealing these things, we'll say it's not theft, it's not stealing, you can't use that word. Legally, they have a right to, to well, right. They, legally, they have the option to use these pieces of art. And that is, strictly speaking, true. Uh, but something can be legal and also wrong. Uh, and theft can happen regardless of if it's legal or not. It's not a le we're not using the term theft and stealing in a legal sense here, but more of a moral sense. Um, if you take someone else's art and you use it in your videos and you don't, especially, I, I say this, <laughs> I'm giving myself a pass here, but I try to credit as people as closely as possible here. But if you're creating animated content and you use art, people will reasonably assume that you created it yourself unless you say otherwise. So you should say otherwise. <laughs> now, like I said, I'm giving myself a pass here because I don't create animated content yet. Uh, so I, I could use stuff and be like, well, reasonably, you wouldn't assume that I use it. But I, I do try to make sure things are credited properly regardless. But I think it's especially important for the animated channels to make sure that they give credit where credit is due. Not only is it morally the right thing to do, but also, if you fail to credit someone properly, that's not just a mistake you can correct. You may be like, what are you talking about? Well, the Creative Commons license is not unconditional. And there have been court cases on this. Um, there have been court cases that gone both ways on this, actually. Let's be clear about that. Um, that say that it is a conditional uh, grant. And if you fail to follow the terms of the license at any point, then you are in violation and you lose the right to reproduce those works in perpetuity. Until, I should say, it's not in perpetuity, until the original creator says you can do it. Which brings up the whole moral versus legal thing, because if you're going to say... It's legally, it's not stealing, but also not crediting people. The original artist might uh, take exception with that. And because they don't like you now, may decide, hey, you know what? You can't use my works anymore. That's a perfectly reasonable expectation, too. And a lot, a lot of this comes up. I mean, I'm not going to name channels specifically, mainly because... Um, first of all, this is not an area of my own expertise. I do know the Creative Commons license fairly well. Uh, I think better than most people, but I'm not a lawyer. And second of all, art theft is not something that I am particularly well versed in. I know it when I see it. <laughs> and I did uh, essentially the current art, or I should say the current policies on the SCP Wiki about placing images in your articles are either originated from policies that I created as a member of staff or have evolved out of policies that I uh, created as, or not created, originated, because policy, it's a big red tape thing. You have to do votes and everything else. But I'm the one that began the train in that direction. Let's put it that way. Um, 
And so it is an area, it's not an area of expertise, but it is an area of interest of mine. Um, so what these people have to understand is there's a difference between the uh, 3.0 and 4.0 uh, licenses, by the way. The 4.0 license allows you a 30 days to correct your mistakes. The 3.0 license allows you zero time to correct your mistakes. If you make a mistake from the point of publishing, that's it. If, if it gets caught, because it's all about like, you can't just, it's not magical. No one, it's, it's not SCP-096. It doesn't automatically know when people look at its face. Like, if somebody catches it, though, and they can prove it later, you just straight up lose your right to reproduce that work. And the creator who you stole from, and yes, I'm using the word stole here, especially if you, if you, especially if, especially with regards to animated channels, because if an animated channel is using artwork that's not theirs and they don't credit properly, that's theft. OK, that's the same as saying you're inspired, like in writing, same as saying you're inspired by something when you just took it straight up took it you're not in inspired implies that you're <laughs> same thing with art inspired implies that you saw something or read something and then and then created an original thing of your own from whatever it is literally an implication that you created something yes you used something else as sort of a semi-source, but you didn't, you didn't take the direct, but if you say I'm inspired, say if you're, for example, you're inspired, I'm inspired by, uh, uh, America, a prophecy. And you use the term, uh, the whole like poem in your article, <laughs> you're not inspired by it anymore. You just put it in your article and I, I can't remember how old that poem is. Uh, but if it's, uh, if it's not even, if, even if it is public domain at this point, you still should say, this isn't mine, I didn't create it. Otherwise, you're still stealing. You can steal public domain works by trying to pass them off as your own. And not even trying to pass them off as your own, but allowing through inaction others to believe that it is your own. And that's very important, as I said, about stolen art and the SCP animated channels. You are... You have a responsibility to that. And the same thing comes for writers. Writers have a responsibility to, to make sure that if they put written text in their works, that it's not that's not theirs, but is legally OK to use that they say it's not theirs. Same thing for an animated channel. If you're using art that is not yours, that you didn't originate and that clearly and that isn't clearly. And this is the important part, because like, like, see this there? This is a Nightmare Before Christmas thing, right? I imagine 99% of the people who see it think it's a Nightmare Before Christmas. But there may be, and then this is a matter of what, what is reasonable and what isn't. There could be people that think that this is something I created. It's not, by the way. Um, and I really should replace that. That's something I put up as a placeholder a long time ago. <laughs> Just needed something spooky. And I never really, I never really replaced it. Anyway. That's that's a, that's a that's a whole other topic of thing, but it is important. Like, you don't want people to believe that the thing that you're putting out there into the world is wholly yours if it isn't. It's important. I know you, it doesn't seem important to some people, but it is incredibly important. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. I'm I'm a, I'm a begging you. No, I, I it's um I think my subscriber growth in the last month has been like 125 subscribers. There have been days uh, last year that were higher than that. I, I mean, there have been days, a lot of days that were higher than that last year. Uh, <laughs> There were, there were weeks where my daily intake was higher than that <laughs> from for like a whole month's worth of days. It's it's the subscriber growth has gotten and maybe I've hit a wall. I don't know. That's why I'm planning on starting. I've actually already got the 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 coals in the fire. I've, I've paid for the creation of some art assets that I could possibly use to create animated content. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But. In the meantime, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over.
to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.